What we want to do in this video is show you how we go through our planning process of planning a tour. Um, what we're not doing here is we're not booking the whole tour. We just really want to go through some of our thought processes of how we actually book a tour. This is a tour we're thinking of doing in the summer sometime. So uh, don't rely on the dates to, uh, to follow us around or anything like that. Uh, so um, <laughs> we've, got, we've got some sites in mind that we want to go to. We've got a uh, map in front of us here of southern England. Yeah. And, and I've also been on both, we're trying to limit it to the club sites and Tranquil Parks. Okay. So where we've decided to go is Dorset and Hampshire. So I've limited the sites we're going to into those two counties. Right. right? Okay. So I went on the Caravan and Motor Home Club site and I think we've got a bit of footage of that, haven't we, where I did a search. We've got a bit of footage of that? Well, I can do it on here. Do it on here, right. So yeah. what, what I did when I went on there yeah. was I go to UK Holidays. Yeah. Book, oh God. Book a club site. Yeah. And then it comes up searching books. So I want to search for club sites in Dorset. So I just went county and chose Dorset. It's come down a bit. Dorset. Yeah, and I'm not going to do dates and whatever at the moment. So I just uh, go right, right the way down. You can filter it by if you want a beach within five miles, that sort of thing. Or baby and toddler. And where, yeah, yeah, and all sorts of things. So you, you now click search. And that would just give us the sites in Dorset yeah. that they've got. That, that can, yeah, can yeah. a motor and club. So I've got, I've printed out my list. I went to each individual one, had a quick look um, and got the details, you know, the postcode and things yeah. like that. Yeah. So I copied, copied and pasted that and then printed this out. So there are quite a few to choose from in Dorset. In Dorset, yep. Yep. Okay. That's the Caravan and Motown Club. I then did the same for Hampshire. Come up with a few less, but... Uh, that's Hampshire. Yeah. Okay. And you put numbers against them, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, so. I put those numbers are the numbers on the map. So on our on our map the, all the sites are numbered yeah on the map with green flags so we have yeah. a rough idea yeah. where they are where they are because that's the thing you've got to decide which way you're going to go and all this sort of thing yeah so and then went to do the same thing for the camping and caravanning club yeah okay so if i go to a, a camping and caravanning club thing so let's just go so we search for we'll go to uk cup campsites yeah and find a campsite. Yeah. And then you want to change it to camping. Can you see what it says filter by? Filter by. Yeah, camping campsite type. type. Yeah. Uh, we've just got it filtered on club sites. So we don't want camping in the forest or certificate you know, or no, because we're just trying to keep it simple. So yeah. we've got that. Yeah. Now, if we want to search for Dorset, where it's got a box at the top, if you highlight that. Just yeah. get rid of it yeah. and type Dorset. Because that's the one we were looking at. Yeah. And it will give you a list of all the sites. In Dorset. In Dorset. Yeah, so it's got the ones I've got on my list. It must keep telling us to go to Salisbury as well. Yeah, I think it's determined we're going to go to Salisbury. <laughs> yeah. And that's the list there. Okay, so okay. we've got those lists, and you've put numbers on these as well. To, just to show where that where they are, there's no numbers on there, unfortunately. The only way you find out which site it is and is by just clicking, clicking on it, on it yeah, and then it comes up. So I've tried to do them in sort of like the order we might, might do them there. if we were just doing those yeah. four sites. Okay, okay. This is a little bit small there, isn't it? So you can't get to the cross there, can you? No. No, okay. Okay, so... That's, I've got a, an idea of the sites. The only Tranquil yeah. Park site I found was not one, one near Ringwood. Yeah, it's on this list somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, back of, back of beyond, that one yeah, down, that down was, there. Yeah, that was the only one I could find. I, I know there are loads of other sites in the area, but just to yeah. try and keep this simple. All right. Okay, so, so we've now got to, I've got we've to got decide. To get there, haven't we? We've got to get there, and we've got to decide which way we're going to go. Are we going to go from... West to east or east to west. We've got to get there first. Well, I know that, but that yeah. determines which way we go down, doesn't right. it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
So I think we want to go west to east. Why is that? Because we might finish up in the New Forest and there might be an event we might go to in the okay. New Forest. So okay. Yeah. And that event, if you guess you're wondering, is um, Herman Hits the Roads. <laughs> Herman <laughs> Fest. <laughs> get it right a minute. Yeah. And uh, they last year, not this year, uh, no, hang on. We 2019 yeah. was the last one. Yeah. Because we didn't have one in 2020. There's a meet up in the New Forest. And he's norm he normally holds it at Ringwood, uh, not Ringwood, at uh, Round, Round, Round Hill Tree. Park. Round Hill, yeah. Round Hill. Round yeah. Hill. Forest, camping, camping in the, in the forest, forest site, site yeah. which we've also got on that list somewhere, haven't we? As well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that said, so so we're going from west to east now. Yeah. The other reason we're going west to east, going to just interject here, yeah, is the M5. Is the M5? Yeah, yeah. is an easier way for yeah. us to get down to that area yeah. than trying to go the other way. Okay. Yeah. So what 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 we've done? What I did a quick calculation that if we went to one of our first sites in the Lime Bay area, it would take us five and a quarter hours yeah. to get there. So, 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 so that's too driving. long. It's too. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's too long driving for me anyway. Um, yeah. So I know some people wouldn't mind doing that. So what we're planning on doing is having a stop somewhere. Yeah. So what we would do now is we'd go um, <clears throat> to Google Maps. And on there, I've put my home as Southport Caravan and Motown Club, in case you're wondering, that's so I don't tell everybody in the world where I live. <laughs> so, I, saw, I, I, I live at the, uh, the Yeah, site, we live yeah. at the site. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so we're probably thinking of stopping halfway, aren't we? Yeah, and what a favourite of ours for stopping halfway is Chapel Lane, isn't it? Yeah, so what I would do in here um, is put in there. Do I probably need to show how we got to this, don't I, on Google Maps? Yeah. Everybody knows Google Maps. Does everyone know Google Maps? Okay. Yeah, everyone said yes. <laughs> so if you put in Chapel Lane, I mean, once you've put in a place and you hit directions on here, that's how you get to this bit here. Yeah. So this take, normally takes us about two hours, 35. It's normally very easy to book Chapel Lane. It, yeah. I've never had a problem with it. Yeah. And what so, we'd normally be doing is we'd be making a note <clears throat> of how long how long it things takes. it takes, yeah. So you, you'd get your phone and you'd stick that in there, wouldn't you? So. Yeah, no, I often do um, use the AA route planner or no, I use the, um, no, that one. the Garmin um, Avtec. Avtec Tour yeah. 2, is Currently that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Currently <laughs> okay. charging, isn't yeah. it? So, yeah. yeah, So, but at the moment we know that that would take us 132 miles and would take us about 2 hours 40. That's right. So we go there, stop yep. for one night. And then we'd go and add a, add add a destination. destination. So we, now we look back at the map. Yeah. And we're having a look what's in that sort of west area of Dorset. That's right. So there are a couple of alternatives there. Site number 90 on there is Wood Farm. Yeah. 71 was Bridport, and that was the one we looked at. Yeah. So Bridport here. Uh, this is a, camp, a caravan and motorhome club site. What did we think of this? I think we thought it was a bit compact, didn't we? It's quite, yeah, it's quite. Yeah, it's, a, it's nice that it's in a quiet location and. Yeah, it's, it shows cool. it near the beach. It isn't actually near the beach. No, I mean, but no, I don't presumably know how far. you can drive to the beach. Oh, you can walk. I, I don't yeah. know. I don't know how far it is. It, it's it looks fairly on well on the map. It looks away. I suppose no. I suppose a couple of miles. Yeah. So it, lo it looks okay. I, what sort of, when we looked at this earlier, uh, it's got four stars, but <laughs> you seem a little disappointed. <laughs> a little disappointed. Yeah. So we thought, well, okay, well, what else is in the area? Yeah. So that's when we looked, looked at, on my other list on for your the other, other list. club. Yeah. And um, we've got in that area, we've got Charmouth. Charmouth. Camping and caravanning club site. So I think I've got Charmouth up here. There we are. So it's Charmouth. Caravan. Yeah, I mean, that I'm, looks very, very nice. Yeah, it's it? A, it looks a big site. Yeah, more spaced out and. Lou of the year. Yeah, and David Bellamy. And it gives you a bit of a. And it, it's all of the Jurassic Coast here as well, yeah, which is something yeah, which we, want, we to want to look at, don't look we? At, yeah. And you've got Seaton's Tramway as well. Alright. Seaton, tram, Seaton Tramway's hot pink narrow gauge tram. Okay. Right. It's <laughs> yeah. not an area we haven't really 
No, and that's flawed. again, that's why we want to go there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. And it's the bit of advice about don't use the sat nav. Please use Scotts Lane if you're using a sat nav to get to. The, it's always worth noting those yeah, sort of things. Yeah, that's right. So that I think it would be our first stop after Chapel Lane. I think so. Yeah. 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 So what I'll do is I'll log in. And I won't show you my login for obvious reasons. No. It was a good idea to log in when you're thinking of booking. Yeah. You have to, only have to go away and do it. Yeah. You get you put all your details in, and then you realise that you need to log in. Yeah. So. So it's just case then of book it. Book it. Book it, Dano. So now it asks you what type of camping unit you've got. Um, I always I t always tick uh, uh, taking an all now, otherwise you'll be put on a tiny pitch. In here, you put in the length in meters, and you reckon that you put in the the width of the van plus the awning. Plus the awning, yeah. So I think it would be five meters. And yeah. then we want to put in a couple of dummy dates. So we're talking about June, aren't we? Yeah, possibly June time. So if we were sort of arriving on the Sunday, say. Yeah. And checking out three days later. Which would be the... And then where are we? Sixth, we'd be... Lost it now. That's sixth of six? Yeah, sixth of June. Do we leave on the ninth? Yeah. Oh, sorry, that's... Yeah. So if we leave on the ninth there, and then you go book it. And uh, I'll probably blank out this, this bit of detail here because it's got my membership number on there. And everything. Let's just see if I can move that down, blank it out. We are uh, we are um, what's called ACR. That's um, old age. <laughs> Don't know what it says. <laughs> old age, plus, age, anyway, age concession rate. That's it right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Change mm -hmm. that. Uh, I, I, hopefully, I can blank out that bit there. Um, there it gives you a choice of pitches. So we. So then we'll go to our choice of pitches and you've got choice of grass with electric, hard standard electric or jumbo hard standard electric. So we'd probably go hard standard electric. Yeah. Okay. And then it says your estimated arrival time and you say, well, it's probably going to be one o'clock. We're normally early arrivers, aren't we? Yeah. You've got any promo codes and it tells you it's £83. And then you'd continue with the book in there. And they'll, they'll want to, Camping and Caravanning Club will want to deposit, it's normally £25. Yeah. So You can transfer it to another one, and isn't it, if you let them know within 30 days of you going, you can... Yeah, you can change you it, can yeah. You can cancel, yeah, without yeah. losing it. Yeah, and that's been the only sort of issue we've had with booking sites with the Camping and Caravanning Club. Everything gets cancelled, you're, you're hoping then it's easier to chase up on your lost deposits. Yeah, and to add or take off a day we've yeah. had a long wait on the phone and we yeah, to do so things if, like that if you suddenly discover you need to arrive a day earlier or a day later you've or got to phone to do you've got it. a phone to go change do it, it on the website no. no so if anyone's from the camping and caravanning club is watching if you can check make just make that change that would be good <laughs> <laughs> so i don't think you can with deposits i think i've said that to you before no i think that's the problem isn't yeah. it if they take deposits that's what you yeah, can't do is can't you can't do that. amend a booking easily no no so anyway, so that's what we reckon we would go there. So yeah. how long would that take us to get from Chapel Lane? So back to uh, back to Google, um, and this is where it gets a bit complicated because this only shows you how long from one place to another. Uh, so I've taken out the original one, and what am I looking for? I forgot what I'm looking for now. Charmouth. Charmouth, yeah, Charmouth Camping and Caravanning Club, and that would take us two hours thirty-seven minutes. And you're checking that on the AA as well, aren't you? Oh, the AA says uh, two hours forty-six minutes. I'd go with the AA then. One hundred and fifty miles, at yeah. least, roughly. Yeah, but obviously that's um, all conditions being equal, wonderful, wonderful yeah. and yeah. yeah but it's more or less all motorway isn't it yeah yeah m5 m4 yeah and that assumes the m5 doesn't close as soon as we set foot <laughs> on it doesn't it yeah 
Yeah. Yeah. So th that's how you can work out distance between the two. But on Google Maps, as far as I can tell, unless anyone can tell me different, I can't see a way that you can uh, tell the diff the distance and the time between di multiple sites. No, it doesn't seem to. No, it doesn't seem to do it. No. I'd be interested to know if someone does know how to do that, which means I'm gonna. I'd have to put. I have to walk back up there. Like that, which gives us jaws as our map and sometimes when you've seen us do um, a route plan before and we we take a snapshot of the of the route so I just want to leave that on the screen so yeah yeah people can see so we have stopped at Chalmers then yeah and now we want to move east so yeah. looking at a map yeah back to your map um, where were we? We were up, up here somewhere, aren't we? 71, yeah. Yeah, um, I did think about going to this private site. Uh, well, it's not private site, it's affiliated. Well, it is private, it's affiliated site. Cheddar, it's, Cheddar is it called? No, no, it's called um, Fleet, East Fleet Farm Touring Park. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. Yeah, we looked. Yeah. East Fleet. Where were we? Oh, there, yeah, yeah. 75. I'll oh, look in the wrong one. 75, yeah, East Fleet Touring Park affiliated. Do you want to have a look? Yeah, we'll have a look. Cause I don't think, oh, there it is, I've got it on the list. So, yeah, so that's this one. Yeah. East Fleet. And it's, this is by the, the sea. Yeah, it looks a very big site. It's a big site. I think it's got everything there, obviously, play areas. Yeah. Uh, toilet block. Yeah. Separate, like, little bathroom things. Yeah. Yeah, that's there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So Little cubicles. It does look nice. Yeah. But uh, I mean, the only thought we had about this for us, it's it's probably aimed more at families rather than grumpy old couples. <laughs> Good yeah. games room. Good games room, play, play area, playground. playground. That's the thing that features on it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Thinking, so mm, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I don't know. So, so we've sort of thought of that, yeah. or we're thinking of crossways, aren't we? Which you've got on here, seventy-four. Seventy-four. Going a little bit further. Yeah. Because otherwise, we're only just going down there yeah, anyway. Yeah, just down the road, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, going to that one there, seventy-four, which is crossways. Crossways. Have I got that up here? Yep, I've got that one there. So this is a bit more sort of us, we think. So it's got five stars. It says good for dogs, walking, peaceful stays. The only thing about this one is we think it was all grass, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 I mean, in June, you sort of hope that the, grass the weather's going to be okay. That yeah. It won't be a problem. What's it say about it? Touring in Dorset. Yeah. Uh, Pool is nearby. Yeah. Weymouth. Yeah. So we could get to Weymouth. There's some historical things, there, aren't there? Henry the Eighth. Yeah. Things. Yeah. And price wise, sort of June time. Um, that's the pitch, isn't it? Yeah. Depending on what sort of pitch you've got and the standard, so uh, adult standard pitch. So it's about, let's say it's £10.70 standard pitch with awning plus £9 per person. Yeah, the pitches are the same price whether you go with an awning or so, not. So you're looking at about £30 or something yeah. in June, aren't you? So it's not cheap considering yeah. it's, um, it's, a grass, it's a grass one. Probably the the area it's in. Yeah, I think this is an expensive area to go anyway. See, what I would do because it's got standard pitch with awning, a standard pitch without awning. Yeah, I, I'd look at the site plan just yeah. to make sure there are enough ones without awning because we've been caught okay. out like that before. You, you've gone past, gone past it, it, I think. It's up, 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 up. Keep going. Site map. Site, no, 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 that that one. That one. Okay, so you can download a site map. We've been caught out with this before, haven't we? And there's yeah. only been like two pitches. Yeah. So what are we looking for? Standard with awning. It says they're all standard with awning. Oh, they're all standard with awning. There you go. They're all white. Yeah, so that's okay. And they're all round. Yeah. Because they're all on they're all grass, on grass pitches, apart from there's a tent. Yeah. Tent area, which is in yellow. Well, there's a couple of hard standing there. There and there. Oh, all right. There are. That's what it means, isn't it? When they're yeah. square like that. Yeah, the hard stand. Oh, I mean, I <laughs> and mm -hmm. uh, when they round, they're, they're grass. Yeah. I think that's what it means. Yeah. Okay. Right. So. So the yellow ones up there are tent pitches. Yeah, you've got tents with electric, I think, and tents without electric. Have you? Well, it says tents with EHU yellow. Okay. All right. 
Right. No, oh, lots of nice uh, little site. Yeah. A load of like shower blocks, aren't they? L little ones. Little, yeah, tiny little shower blocks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it'd be different. Yeah. So, so that's that. So if you go back, they just show you the difference booking a caravan, a motorhome club site. Then, so if we were booking this one. Yeah. Um. I'm logged in, so because it says logged out there, so make sure you're logged in and book a touring pitch. And just came up there and they're very busy and nearly put you in a queue. Yeah. Uh, right, so we go to June. Right, June. We're all right at the moment, then, yeah. if we're not fully booked for it. Okay. If it's in light blue, it means you, it's available. Yeah, so I think if we were on this tour, we would have been arriving on the 8th, wouldn't we, or something? Something like that. Something, something it doesn't really it matter. Now. And we're on here, you, you click the first one and you click the last one. Yeah. So, so then it says you're arriving on Tuesday, you're leaving on Thursday, two nights available. Yeah. And it says it's available. If it, obviously, if it's, yeah, if it's orange, it's not available. No. And then you go continue, and then you fill in some details on here. But it should have, if you, yeah. So who's going? So make sure you've got two adults, no children, no in infants. Um, you tick this box here, and that's easy to miss because it, they store your your own motorhome vehicle, motorhome vehicle, your, your motor, <laughs> motorhome motor details. details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you go next. Which makes it easier than that, trying to remember how long and how wide you are. Yeah, yeah, and then it gives you a breakdown of how much it costs. And I have to leave it there because I've got all my other well, details below. All other details below, yeah. Yeah. And, and then it wants your vehicle registration. Yeah, and I won't show you that. No. It, uh, I might be able to grey that out. The, um, contact details, vehicle registration, so you stick your vehicle vehicle details in there which I've all handily got stored and you have to, you have to tick the box there and you can read them there and then you can read the conditions there and then you hit book now so it's, it's a reasonably priced site isn't it because it's yeah. 45 pound for two nights so yeah that's no, okay in the middle of summer middle of summer yeah so I'd be happy with that uh, you don't need to put a credit card detail in here because it Right. No, that's right. You it's, don't pay any deposit. You pay no. when you get there. Yeah, pay when you arrive. Yeah. So I've, I've found if we're, you know, we're not sure how many nights we want and we want to jiggle things about with dates and whatever, this yeah. has always proved very easy to do, provided obviously the site you want to go to isn't full. Yeah. Yeah. So then we would add that to our itinerary. Yeah. Which I've forgotten already what it was called. Crossways. Crossways, yeah. Osways Caravan Motor and Club at Morton, and uh, it then gives you a total <laughs> of the thing. But you're going to put it on your. AA. I'm going to put it from Chalmers, Chalmers to, to Crossways. To Crossways. Yeah, so that's going to take us three quarters of an hour, yeah. thirty-two miles. So I think the other one we're too yeah. close. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's only thirty-two miles. This, yeah, isn't it? so we can have a nice line. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. So the next site. Next site, we thought we'd go to the Corf Castle area. Yeah, because so we went to Corf Castle when we were staying at Hunter's Moon. Hunter's Moon, yeah. Yeah. Which, uh, which is close by. Yeah. And uh, we had an adventurous trek through the undergrowth to get to the castle itself. So yeah. We wanted to stay at this site anyway because it's near the castle and near the little village of Corf Castle. Yeah. And it looks a very nice site. Yeah, so I've got it on the map here somewhere, haven't I? You see where it is? No, we haven't got it on there, have we? I thought I had. You want to go site? You want the next one? With that one? That one, yeah. And you want to... Right, okay. So we're going Corf here. Corf Castle. We know that's what we want. Yeah. So if you know exactly where you want to go, you don't need to search for Dorset or anything, do you? So. No. So yeah, here we so are. it is. Corf Castle. Wareham, Dorset. And it looks... By the beach. Looks a nice sight, doesn't it? Plenty yeah. of walks around there. Yeah. A ferry. A ferry, I yeah. I expect that. And someone tell us where that's to and from. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't say there, does it? No. No, so we've got an overview. And it's in the Purbeck Hills, Lulworth Cove, Durdledore. 
and of course the Jurassic coastline again. Yeah. So we are spending a fair bit of time in and around uh, Dorset area, aren't we? Yeah. It says it's 15 minute walk from the site of Castle. Castle. I reckon last time we must have walked about an hour. Oh, I think we were walking, yeah, more than that. Fighting our way through them. <laughs> Uh, and it says motor owners must be booked onto hard standing uh, boat owners as an additional pitch fee. So you obviously can launch your boat from there as well. Yeah. And all the facilities, the reviews, got a good site, lovely location. Uh, People keep saying it's ideal for older couples. Yeah. Who's, who's that then? I don't know that, that wouldn't mean. apply, would it? No, no. So I think we'll add that to our, our list of that's for the next one we'll go to, I think. Yeah, yeah. so we're putting in here, C-O-R-F-E, Castle. And like I say, we're not actually booking the sites on this video, we're just... Uh, Showing you how to book them and, yeah. and what we're thinking and of how, booking. And what we think when we're booking, I suppose. Yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. yeah. We'll be a bit boring if they had to watch us keep booking on the yeah. sites. Okay. So, right, yeah. so next site. Next site from there, and now I think we're going to head into the New Forest. Okay, so this was in preparation perhaps for the yeah. Herman Fest you yeah. were talking about earlier. But we're, we're going to stay at a Caravan and Motum Club site so that we can adjust things. and. Yeah, so if it, it, it changes, we're, we'll be able to change it. Which one did we think of going? Black Knoll. Oh, i got there. I've got Blade and Change. Black Knoll. So that's this one here. So Black Knoll Caravan Club site. This is in the New Forest. I think it's recently been uh, done up because that it looks, looks like, like a, new, a brand yeah. new toilet block, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You know, all these new. That was we, when it was being done, I think. Yeah, and it looks like they're still working on it when they took that picture. Yeah. Yeah. It looks a really nice site. Yeah, near so Brockenhurst, I think near it Brockenhurst, is. Near Brockenhurst, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, William the Conqueror and uh, you know, obviously National Motome, uh, Bewley. We've ne not been to Bewley, have we? No, no, so we something haven't. We could, uh... Yeah, well, we went years ago, didn't we? Oh, we blimey, went... I wonder if it was about three, I think. <laughs> well, I knew years ago, and I've been three. <laughs> no, we did go a long time ago. You can reach the Isle of Wight from the ferry here. Is that what the other picture was talking about? Perhaps the Isle of Wight? Perhaps that's Possibly. why that was showing a ferry. Possibly, it looked too small for the Isle of Wight ferry. But this looks nice, doesn't that? Yeah. Ponies. Yeah, so you know you're in the new forest now. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. We, so I think we'd add that to our list. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, lost my thing, map, there we are. So go add destination and that is Black Knoll. And you're going to work out how far it is. Yeah. Um, the crossways to Corfe Castle is about half an hour journey, yeah. about 20 miles, okay. so that's not very far. No. No. Now we've got to go to Black Knoll. Yeah, obviously when we're booking these sites, we know that there's not a great distance behind them. I think with this trip, we're not really planning to do huge distances. No, Just no. really want to sort of look at the area and look at some of the campsites in, in some detail. Yeah, this will be the longest journey we've done yeah. for, you know, since we started. Yeah. This will be on the A31, will be one hour, 60 minutes, which yeah. is 40 miles. Right, and I think okay. it's similar to the journey we did when we went to the New Forest last time. We went from Hunter's Moon, didn't we, yeah. to Round Hill. Okay. So roughly the same sort of journey. I hope it's a bit drier, though, because it's really it wet, wasn't it? Down, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, so now we're in the New Forest area, mm -hmm. and we'll either be staying just at that site, or we'll go to Round Hill if there is a, a meet-up. Then after that, um, we think we'll go to Winchester on the way home, don't we? Okay, have I got that on my list on here? Morn Hill, it's called. Morn Hill, okay. So that's this one. Yeah. And never been here. Never been here before. Near uh, Winchester. Near Winchester. It gets four stars there, but. Yeah, but it's, it's a grass one again. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, and I think okay. it's, it's a fairly it's... oldish site. It's grass with awning site, yeah. and it looks. Looks very nice. Yeah, all in the trees there. Yeah. No good if you've got a satellite dish, of course. Well, we haven't, so. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people cycling. So what they say, what's saying about here? Touring uh, landmarks. Oxford, you could reach Oxford from here. Winchester, yeah. Chichester, yeah. the New Forest. Yeah. Yeah. So I wouldn't mind, you know, a few days there. A few trips so. there. So we might spend a few days there. Yeah. And then, obviously, uh, go 
back to um, go back to that one. So I'd add that in there. It's Morn Hill, isn't it? Yeah. Morn Hill. Yeah, and that if if we went from Black Knoll, which is yeah. Brockenhurst, yeah, um, that would take us an hour and fifteen minutes, forty mi forty miles. Okay. Right. So that's a nice one if we've particularly if we've been at Hermanfest just to go a little bit up up yeah. there and on our way back. Yeah. I think before we've attempted a bit too much when we've been yeah. going home. Yeah. We might shorten some of these sides. We might yeah. think, you know Yeah. Some of them are a little bit close together, so Yeah, but that's that'll be nice because yeah. it gives us a chance to yeah. we're only going to two that are close together. Yeah. Okay. But now we're looking at making our way we're back, back home. We're, we? Yeah. So yeah. where I we want to go is Blade and Chains because it, it's closing this year in September. Yeah, Blade and Chains unfortunately is no longer going to be on the caravan. I think the the lease has expired, hasn't it? Yeah, they the the people with Blenheim Palace want to take over that area of land. Uh, no, put put a going. load of huts or something. Up I there. don't know. I don't know what they whether they're going to keep it as a campsite or what. But yeah. it's September. Well, it might become a national trust. Site. It might become yeah. It yeah. might be yeah. So yeah. It might not close forever. No, but it might be the last time we see it as a as the site we remember. It this by. is a site we've been to many many times before, but yeah. we never you know I don't think we've ever. Never filmed, filmed it, because it no. when we were down south we used to go to it a lot. Yeah, and it's, it's well, it's a lovely place. Yeah. Um, but the, it, it's Bewley, the, it's in the, sorry, in Bewley, Blenheim Palace grounds, isn't it? Yeah. I'm saying there, Blenheim Palace has given notice that the current lease will be terminated. Yeah. Yeah, um, but you've got Blenheim Palace right next door, you can get, get a trip into there, you, you've got the... Um, Churchill's, um, where Churchill was born, and uh, close by where he's buried as well. So yeah, you know, he's got his grave there, Bladen, Bladen, Bladen Church. Church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can walk into Bladen quite easily, yeah. can't you, from the site? Yeah, you're in the Cotswold, so you've got yeah. um, all the other places. All the there. other places. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And it's Woodstock, isn't it? The little village. Just yeah, Woodstock down is there. a village nearby. Yeah. yeah. So we definitely add that to our. Add that to our list. To our list. Uh, you want to know how far, won't you? Yeah. Oh. I clicked on it. Oh, there we are. Yeah. Uh, one hour, seven minutes, 62 miles. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's where we'll sort of end up before we set off yeah well, now whether we can go all the way home from there yeah back to the south site. port site or we might go back to i don't know summer's wood or yeah or warwick or, or warwick or something like that something like that but that's the that's the outline of our tour yeah really yeah. And that's really what we've been sort of thinking of, of doing and uh, just wanted to give you an idea of how we sort of went about planning a tour. A lot of people have asked us how do we plan a tour. I yeah. think what we've often done is we've we've said we're going to these sites and these are the sites we're going to. Yeah. So uh, we, we, use, we use the map, um, we use Google Maps, um, bits of paper. Bits of paper. <laughs> well, that's just to get the, the yeah. sites out. Otherwise, when I first started yeah. thinking about doors, I thought I've got no idea what sites are down that way we've, no, we've no. only ever been to one yeah so you've, you've been browsing yeah, the map haven't you've yeah. been sort of looking on the club sites and having a look what's what's yeah. around and all of that really before we start looking at distances and yeah places we might like to go when we're at these club sites that will be the next thing won't it what is in the area yeah. that we want to go to are there yeah. any english heritage national yeah. trust yeah. And at the moment, you know, you have to book then. Yeah. I think perhaps what we can do is closer to the time is we'll pick this up again. Yeah. And then we'll look at the places we might want to visit whilst we're on this tour. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that. Okay. We'd we'll better get on thinking about booking. Cause yeah. Because everybody seems to be. Yeah. That's right. Um, there's a queue on the Caravan and Motown Club. Yeah. So we will book some of these sites. And because the Caravan uh, and Motown Club sites, we may change them depending on circumstances or or whatever but we have got Charmouth which is uh, a camping and caravanning one yeah. and Corfe Castle and Corfe Castle so they are sort of markers that we don't wouldn't want to 
want, wouldn't want to lose. No, I mean, you, you pay the deposit and yeah. what we found when we had to cancel Northern Ireland Camping Caravanning mm. Club, they transferred the deposit to Sandringham. Yeah, yeah. So we can, you know, because so we're outside the it's 30 not, days, the world, so, no. yeah. you know, as long as we know a month before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up if you found it useful. Um, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notifications icon because that gives you an update uh, of when we release another video. And if you can leave a comment, let us know how you plan your videos. Yeah, how you, you plan your videos? How you plan? <laughs> <laughs> we can do that if you like. Well, yeah, if you plan your videos. Uh, <laughs> but no, let us know how you plan your trips and tours. Yeah. And have you been to any of these sites that yeah. we haven't been to yet? Yeah, let us know. Yep. Yeah. All right, so Fair. thanks for watching. Yeah. We'll see you soon. soon yeah. yeah. Bye, Bye then. then. Let's check the recording. Check the recording. And start this recording as well. So. You're still sitting on oh. the lead. Because it's, it's not me sitting on it, it's trapped on the table leg. That's it. And don't let me forget anything. Right, start recording. Let's just check that's recording something. Oh, hang on. Start recording. Go to the screen. Wobble the screen about a bit. Back to there. Stop recording. Go to here, and it should be up here. 13. That's it. Boom. Right. Okay. I'm going to turn that. So let's get this recording as well. So start recording. And I think it might be an idea to switch the mic on on here as well. That's it. So can you hear me? One, two, one, two. Yeah. So it's recording on there as well. So go to there. Stuff me my cut the jumper. Take four hundred. Right. So this is. This is take. There's only take two. We just recorded forty minutes of. Uh, nothing. Of nothing on the screen. Picture of a bake of bake. Forty minutes. Could just left that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You ready then? <laughs> I think so, yeah. yeah. Right, so welcome to this 